Duff's scene of the Electra Hippie's anti-twat action. Anti-twat? Anti the war against terrorism. Because although this has been portrayed as a war against terrorism, it's really a war against the internet. A war against ordinary people networking together. Because all the anti-terrorism measures that are now being introduced have very little to do with stopping terrorism. Arresting illegal aliens in a country um, doesn't make any difference when the people are there legally plotting, plotting their little caper. Um, restricting the use of the internet makes absolutely no difference when the people who were using the internet were using their own systems, the postal system. The internet can't deliver anthrax. The postal system can. I think we have to get real about what the threat from terrorism is. So what today is all about is marking uh, the, the twat, the, the war against terrorism and all its horrible effects under the new laws that are now being presented to us. Secretary David Blunkett was heckled by his own backbenchers this afternoon as he introduced the government's tough anti-terrorist legislation. MPs are angry that such a complex bill, which severely curtails the civil liberties of terrorist suspects, will only be, de be debated for three days. This is a teepee. Why are we using a teepee? We wanted to do an outdoor action. We wanted to get out here in the countryside. We wanted to be somewhere very remote. Why? To prove it can be done. Because certainly in the UK, the rural areas haven't seen much of the information revolution. They don't get broadband out here. It's very difficult to get ISDN out here. So by using this teepee in the middle of nowhere, we're making a statement that even out here in the middle of nowhere, you can be part of the information revolution. You can be part of online communities. And so we came here to prepare our action and to do all the work that day required to set up the anti twat action. And we had a little party and we invited all our supporters and, and friends and other electro hippies to come along and have a day of working, to, working together on the Afghan war problem and coming up with some solutions to it. Causing a huge range of measures, some of which have previously been rejected by Parliament. There are powers to allow police access to inland revenue files, for example. Powers to force internet service providers to divulge information about what their clients have been up to. Even powers to keep secret information about the movement of nuclear waste, which Greenpeace argues could make it an offence to tell people waste trains were running through their area. Not quite compatible, the argument goes, with a specific response to a specific threat. On November the 14th, the Electro Hippies arrived at Pank Glass. After setting up the TP and wiring it to the power and the phone line, we installed two computers into the TP, a desktop and a laptop, to run the day's events. Then we welcomed people as they turned up for a day-long action against the Afghan war and the war against terrorism. I hear you've been very busy in Afghanistan recently. Oh yes, having a wonderful time. Business is busy, busy, busy. And would you put this down to the wonderful actions of the American government? 
Well, I would like to personally thank the American government for uh, boosting business in what would normally be a, a pretty lean time. Thank you, Mr. Deaf. Thank you. to Kandahar. It sounds beguiling, but it's lined with human misery. This is the refugee crisis which the world hasn't seen yet. Thousands of tents stretching into the desert as far as the eye can see. The occupants are Afghan families who escaped drought, bombing, and now the threat of more civil war, unable to cross into the relative comfort of Pakistan. central Afghanistan, which is now under the control of anti-Taliban forces, is still being attacked by American aircraft. The... This man told me the Taliban had gone long ago. We're in control now, he said. So why are our innocent people still being killed by the planes? Two days ago, six people, including three teenage girls, died in this house during nighttime bombing. Still shaking from the shock, Haji Ghulam Hussein showed me the remains of the missile which has destroyed his family. It was clearly marked as an American-made missile. Tim, are you an electro hippie? Uh, <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I start with a more a simple question? Uh, yeah, I'll be an electro hippie. No, I don't, don't know. It depends how you define an electro but um, I'm here, yeah. And what are we doing today? Um, we're stopping the war. Um, pointing out the madness, insanity of what is happening all around us. It's a war against justice. It's a war against people. It's a war by the powerful against the powerless. It is a cusp in time when uh, there is an opportunity for people to make a real difference, to have a planet for the future to live on. We must speak out. You cannot throw away justice. Because justice is what binds us all together. And without justice, we have nothing. They go ahead with this legislation, a rag bag of the most coercive measures that the best Mandarin minds from the Home Office can produce, and which will be manna from heaven for any future or indeed present Home Secretary who wishes to establish a police state. David Blunt. There's been many themes running through today's action, as well as the online protest against Afghanistan. We've also been looking at Linux software and how it can help people. We're having discussions about how Linux is the way to go for campaign groups. Right, now we're coming to the end of the, the day's actions. Um, we now take all our material we've developed during the day, then we can put it online. And also the video, mustn't forget the video. Well, this is it, this is the end of the video. Um, I think really this isn't really the end, because over the next months and the next few years, civil society faces an immense challenge from these new anti-terrorism laws that quite unjustly try and criminalise and marginalise certain types of protest action 
very legitimate types of protest action that involve going out into public spaces and doing something to demonstrate the, the iniquities and the injustices that are perpetrated in our society. And on line two, I think we have to work together to make sure that terrorism isn't used as a means of censorship or control of the, the wonderful freedom of communication between peoples that the internet represents.